Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. And Rob, St. John just completed a season sweep over Villanova for the first time since 1993. What's your instant reaction to this win for the Red Storm and another loss for Kyle Neptune? I mean, it's 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 hard to watch Villanova play basketball at this point. That's four out of five that they've now lost after starting 3-0 and in the Big East. The only win that they have in that span is a win over DePaul at home. And it doesn't get any easier. They're going on the road to Butler on Saturday before they get Marquette at home, Providence at home, Xavier on the road, Seton all the home. Like it just – it, this is a, a buzzsaw of a schedule like everything else in the Big East is going to be. And um, I'm not going to lie. I think Villanova might be like one of the five teams I like watching the least in college basketball. They play at a snail's play, pace. Everything they do is isolation. Uh, there's no real creativity in what's happening offensively. A lot of it is just one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, all right, we got these big physical dudes. We're going to let them be big and physical. Um and that worked when you had Jay Wright and you had great point guards and you had guys that can kind of get that first paint touch to create the closeout situations and and all of the uh, execute the concepts that that Villanova loves to be able to to execute. But it's just it's a hard watch right now. I don't enjoy watching them, and um, it's just I don't think that this is working right now. I, I McCall, I don't know. I think you you were the one that kind of set it off air, but I, I'm I'll back you on this, man. I just I don't know if this is going to end up being a tournament team. I just I, I see them having a lot of difficulty beating some of the better teams in this conference. Yeah, I, I don't think they're a tournament team. I don't. Um, and to your point, just in terms of style of play, look, Jay Wright's gone. Um, he's not coming back that we know of. He's enjoying doing television. He's enjoying not having Good to deal it. with the transfer portal and in, in, in IL and he's good at it and I think for Kyle Neptune is he is a really really young head coach um and just speaking from my own personal experience you know Kyle Neptune's got to be Kyle Neptune he's got to play his style of play he's got to you know put his stamp on that program um and not try to be or do everything that Jay Wright did he's got to do it his way run his offense um and he's still going through that and figuring that out and that's that's hard for a young head coach because when you're sitting there and watching a future or a Hall of Famer, and I did the same thing, you just want to do everything that they did. And you got to do it your way. You got to instill your core values within that program. And Jay Wright's Jay Wright. And for me, Billy Donovan's Billy Donovan. And we had great mentors, but they did it their way. And their core values, you got to, you can't just, continue to do it the way that he did it you got to do it your way and he's still trying to figure that out and I think it's a development process and the expectations are through the roof he doesn't have a lot of time in reality I mean that's just that's the day and age we live in in college athletics you, you don't get a lot of time but I think that's the biggest thing right now for Villanova is you know their style of play Kyle Neptune putting his stamp on this program, not as an assistant coach, but as a head coach and doing things his way and the way that he wants to do them and not try to just continue you know to do them a certain way. You know what frustrates me the most with it? And I think you really see this when you see St. John's play Villanova is that um, Rick Patino does so many different things and so many different tweaks. And there's so many like different defenses that, that they run. Yeah. I, I've said this before, but like if you watch them defensively, They'll play that two two one press, right? And that two two one press is the the it's not there to try to create turnovers. It's there to make sure that you get the ball over half court with twenty two seconds left. And then once you get the ball over half court, you're looking at their defense and you got to figure out, okay, are they in man this possession? Is it an actual man to man? Is it a switching man to man? Are they playing zone? Is it a two three zone? Is it a matchup zone? Are they playing man on one half of the court, zone on the other half of the court? Do they switch into man halfway through? So it's like. He changes what they do defensively every possession. They're, they run different things on the offensive end of the floor. He finds ways to be able to exploit different matchups. He knows where to attack. He has different game plans. Like he just he he understands how to coach his guys and have them do what they want to do and change what they do and tweak it to be able to match the opponent and the, the team that they're playing. And I just feel like when you watch Villanova, they try to do their stuff over and over and over again. And their stuff just it's not working. Right. Like it's just but not Rob, working but, at the level. But Rob, let me ask you this too. Like, 
look, Jay Wright resigns. Okay. Yeah. And they hire hire Kyle Neptune. Essentially, Jay Wright's entire staff is still staying on there. So there's just this mm-hmm. expectation that, hey, we're gonna plug this guy in because he worked at Villanova. They're just gonna do the same thing. And it's like Kyle Neptune's got to do it the way Kyle Neptune feels is best. He can't just yes. continue mm-hmm. to do exactly what they did when Jay Wright was there. No, right, I like mean, it, Jay Wright is Jay Wright. Kyle Neptune is different yeah. from Jay Wright, and and and, and I, then and you know what? It, he, he kept the entire staff, whether he worked with those guys or he didn't work with those guys, whatever it may be. I mean, he's still got to try to do it his way and put his real, stamp on the yeah. program. Real quick, Fanta, before you go, just I, I want to say the thing about Jay is I think he's one of the best teachers of basketball that we've ever seen, like sure. teaching somebody how to play what he wants to do. And he just kind of let his guys go. Like, they ran, like, three plays when he was there. They, they didn't run offense. They just played. He taught them how to play. And I think Kyle's trying to do that. And this is not a shot at him, but he's not the same kind of teacher of basketball that Jay Wright is. And I don't think anybody is. So, you got – I think you're exactly – like, Kyle Neptune's got to be Kyle Neptune. And I think that trying to be Jay Wright is just never going to work for anybody. Here's how I would liken it. I go to a Jersey diner called Pompton Queen Diner. The reason why the diner is always great is because the owners are the ones who are at the front of it that let you have your table. The owners watch the entire staff. In August, I went. It was the only bad meal I've had. When I went up to the register, I found out the owners were on vacation. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.